So, Kate, yeah. thank you very much for coming along to see the show. It is such a pleasure. And <laughs> these dungarees are fabulous. John, the dungarees. There was just no. I was like, are these a bit ridiculous? Yes, they are. But dogs, dogs. These amazing dogs. Yes. I, I think as we'll see as we go through. But the dogs often turn the tables they resist they take power quite rightly and at that point we move i think beyond absurdity into maybe the grotesque yes the gothic yeah i would say there is a gothic element yeah now shall we wander around let's have a wander around okay i think let's maybe start here with the street dog poem because this poem here was inspired by a film called stray oh, what's unique about the documentary it's filmed from the dog's point of view. So the cameras are here. So you're seeing people's knees and you don't, you don't see the faces. So we're already disrupting yeah. that power relationship, yeah. which is so much what we are. Yeah. She nuzzles the goat, barks at the greedy, bites the scoundrels. Which is what we should all be doing, isn't it? It is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay. So this is Uncle Dolphy's dog. I don't know if you know about Uncle Dolphy's dog, do you? I do not know about Uncle Dolphy's dog. So Uncle Dolphy was an, uh, an, uh, an affectionate moniker for Adolf. Adolf Hitler. Called him Uncle Dolphy. I've never heard that, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So his, his, he had a German shepherd called Blondie. You know, see here one of Louis's fabulous paintings. And this is a dog, it's a bit gruesome. Trump going to rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's from a uh, poem called Carnival. We have the rising up dogs, yeah. don't we? And actually, so that makes me think of how Steve Eli has said that your book does for dogs what Ted Hughes did for crows. Well, it's very, very nice of him to say yeah. that. And yeah. if you're playing with these ideas of eugenics and breeding. So you're, you're, you're playing with the reality of dogs, you're playing with the idea of dogs. Yeah. Technically, probably you're doing more for dogs than Ted Hughes <laughs> did for crows, honest. just saying. <laughs> sometimes called Turn as Pete, sometimes called Turnspit Pete, other times called the Underdog, and um, or just Spit Dog. Okay. So this was uh, a dog that was bred to turn in a wheel to, to roast meat. Dogs were bred to be our companions, yeah. which is why they... And I was like, as you say, our relationship generally with the na natural world, but it feels like then, in contrast to climate anxiety, climate emergency, you're able to kind of turn the power relationship on its head and have yeah. dogs take Rebel. power at the end. Yes. yes. As a dog shaking all its parasites off. It feels like the dogs could all walk off the page. They're yeah. just so alive, yeah. aren't they? What I like about Louis' artwork is he's not afraid to let mistakes happen and just just get the image out there. He's not a self-conscious artist. You know what I mean? I think a lot of artists are self-conscious. They're very, they're very aware of the end result. And yeah, the end yeah, result, yeah, he just yeah. does it. And he's not bothered about what people think. And to me, that gives it a kind of... Energy. Yes, and, that's the word. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, vitality, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. That, a bit of me wants to say then is that that feels also quite dog like. If, it, if dogs exactly. were painting, they'd be, yeah. they wouldn't be going, is this going to be in the Royal Academy yeah. show? They'd just be going, this is this. this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dogs taught us to be human. Now, I am. Come at it from so many. Yeah. It um, it's not actually. And yet it's only, that's the miracle of poetry, uh, isn't it? You can do all this in a book that's only this big. Dogs are very welcome. It's on to the 12th of August. Please come along and bring your dog. Maybe your dog will be inspired to join the dog revolution. <laughs> yes. By coming. And I think that will be the long overdue. I think, I think, I think so. I think so. Now, we will be saddened in future if my collection are not <laughs> turned into an amazing exhibition in a brilliant space with a soundscape. And you know, being disappointed. And sculptures. Beautiful. It's yeah. just. Yeah. It's good. This is how it should be. Once I was a god. I watched the wolf weep at my feet. The lamb offered me his fleece. 
Fish leaped from streams into my mouth and down my gullet. Figs fell from the trees like raindrops. Angels caressed my flesh. Demons slunk from my shadow. Children kneeled and prayed to me. Women offered me their bodies. Bishops gave me their souls. Kings asked me for mercy. The monkeys howled in the trees. The eagles tried to fly into the black pip of my mind. The lunatics built fires from their shackles, cut off their thumbs, gouged out their eyes, bit off their ears. Then they turned on me, broke my back, cracked my ribs, twisted my hands into claws, tarred and furred me, crushed my skull, lolled my tongue, stretched my tail, sharpened my teeth. Now, 